Hello, moviegoers! It's time for another episode of Credit Card, the show where I turn you into a cinephile. I just got back from the midnight screening of A Very Harold and Kumar Christmas in 3D. This film was directed by Todd strauss Scholson and co-written by John Hurwitz and Hayden Schlossberg. It stars John Cho, Cal Penn, Amir Blumenfeld, Thomas Lennon, Danny Trejo, and of course, Neil Patrick Harris. In the latest installment of the now three-part series, Harold and Kumar go on an epic journey to save Christmas after Harold accidentally burns down his father-in-law's beloved Christmas tree. But of course, they must make their way through yet another night of absolute debauchery before they can get the goal that they seek. I spent the last two days watching the first two movies so that I'd be ready for this. When I said that in my video last week, I thought I meant plot-wise. If I had known that Harold and Kumar was going to be a complete exercise in poor taste, if I hadn't watched the first two, I would have walked out on this one halfway through. <laughs> she doesn't like that. <laughs> this film just completely goes straight to the lowest denominator of comedy, if we can even call it that. The things that they try and pass off as jokes in this movie are not my style of humor. I apologize. If you love this franchise, go ahead, see this movie, but I'm going to continue to tear into it in a very bad way. The, mo the further th that we got into the film, the more humanity as a whole just disturbed me because of the things that people will find amusing. If you watch the Red Band trailer, you know, and I've always said my spoiler policy is anything you can see in a trailer, it's, you're free to talk about it because it's out there for the public to view. You don't have to see the movie to know these things happen. In the Red Band trailer, and maybe in the regular trailer too, I don't, I don't know. I haven't watched it in a while. Um, a baby gets hot. Yeah, an, an infant. Like, I'm still sitting in a little car seat. I can barely speak the English language. Baby. Baby gets high. People seem to really enjoy the baby getting high. And some other things that happen to the baby later on in the film, which I won't go into. Just to say that, yes, you would be put in jail for a long, long time if this actually happened to your child. Don't mind the raucousness going on in the background, please. Ugh, we're not trying to shoot video or anything. I'd be amiss to not discuss the 3D, because I paid good money to see this movie in 3D. And because this movie, I don't think this movie can be seen not in 3D. Like, I don't think they are making 2D prints of this film available. But if you can, you know, save the extra three bucks or whatever, I highly advise. Because it's all this. Everything in the movie is this. <laughs> it's this kind of 3D. That's where, the best kind. Where stuff, they specifically take the, the moment of the film to slow things down and have it come out at the audience and then they pick back up and go go on with the, with the plot. That's hilarious. No, it's not hilarious. It's horrible. Everybody involved with this should be ashamed of themselves because the fact that films like this get made and, and make the amounts of money that they make in the box office is insulting to the film critics, it's insulting to the film audiences, it's insulting to everyone in, remotely involved with film at any stage of the game. The actors, directors, not even just that film in particular, but all film as a whole. The fact that films can be this bad and be this financially successful, which I'm sure this film will be, because, you know, it's the third in the series, terrifies. Oh yeah, speaking of that, the people who made the, the writers of this film, and I'll give that, the, uh, this is the film's probably the, the one good thing about the film. They've kept the same writers for all three films, so you at least have a sense of consistency. I'll give it that. I won't give it much else, but I'll give it that. There's a line, I would say, near the beginning of the third act. Neil Patrick Harris, who is a staple of these films, for whatever reason. When did How I Met Your Mother start? Is it after or before? Way after. The resurgence of Neil Patrick Harris's career happened because of these movies. So maybe I'll give that. That's two things. They kept the same writers for all three films, and they brought Neil Patrick Harris back into the A-list, where he deserves to be. He deserves it. So I'll give them, I'll give the movies those two things. So that's two so far. He's got, he's got a line in, in his big scene, and he says, I'll see you boys in the fourth one. What kind of gigantic ego do you 
you have to have to write that kind of line in your script. That's hilarious. No, that's horrible. Unless you... You're ruining the movie for me. I'm just like laughing that's hearing good. everything you're saying. That's good. I'm glad I'm ruining the movie because it's a terrible movie. I'm going to see this with Sabrina next week. No, 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 no. Next week you're going to see the movie I'm reviewing next week because that's a great movie, okay? We'll get to that at the end of the video like we always do. Hold your horses. Unless it's something like, you know, the last... Harry Potter, where you have part one and part two because it's an epic story that you have to tell and you're shooting them to back to back like that, you're not guaranteed a next film. So don't say, I'll see you in the next film because there isn't gonna be one yet. Okay, guys? There will be. There isn't one yet. Anyway, moving on. Neil Patrick Harris in this film. I'm not gonna get into specifics. Again, spoiler, spoiler. However, I was, a, I was okay with the version of himself that he plays in these movies and how it departs from his actual real life persona. But um, I'll just say this. Neil Patrick Harris's role in this film is an insult to himself. It's an insult to his partner, David Burtka. It's an insult to every LGBT person in the world. I'll go that far. He's a boyfriend? Wow. Well, I, I thought he was single. Oh, no. He's, he's been in a committed relationship for quite some time. They have two, they have two sons. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Actually, you know what? We're gonna put a picture up of Neil and David and their two sons in their Halloween costumes. Because you know what? It's an adorable photo. I'll, I'll say that right now. It's an adorable photo. Aww. Oh, hey. Adorable. <laughs> Speaking of adorable. We got a little dog. How you doing? How you doing? Okay, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. Oh uh, yeah, so Neil Patrick Harris, his role, insulting completely. He should be ashamed of himself. Amir Blumenfeld has his film debut in this movie. Some of you might know him from collegehumor.com and their video sketches and such. He shows no range whatsoever. He's basically playing the character that he's been playing on that site for the past few years. Shame on him too. Oh, and yeah, this is the first weekend in November. We're watching Christmas movies. That's a problem. You wanna make a Christmas movie? You can release it the weekend of Thanksgiving, and when Christmas rolls around, you remove it from the theaters. We don't want Christmas movies any other time of the year. It's too early. I don't wanna see Christmas yet. I don't wanna see Christmas out in the world. I don't wanna see Christmas on my movie screen. Don't wanna see Christmas. The film completely disappointed me in every single aspect. But you know what? When you give a first time director a film of this scale, it's hard to be impressive. I'm giving this film one dead Santa Claus. No! Yes, this film, this film gets one dead Santa because that's what it was to me. Wholly and completely upset in every aspect. But you can tune in next week when we're going to be reviewing J. Edgar because it's about damn time we get some Oscar bait up in here. Be sure to give me a big old thumbs up if you like this video. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this film, the franchise in general, so you know, leave, leave me a comment down below. I welcome everything you all have to say about this film. Not everything can be a good movie. Some things have to be bad. In fact, President Universal just the other day came out and said, we've made some bad movies. And I'll put that link down in the doobly-doo just for you guys. Wait, so, did Universal make this too? I'm not sure. I don't think so, but it doesn't matter. Oh, hey! <laughs> More animals. They love me. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Boom. Comments. Universal says they make bad movies. Go see the movie. Let me know what you thought. Oh, you want me to see it now? No, actually, I, I, don't, want, I don't want you to see it. But I know you're going to see it anyway. Because that's what, that's what people do. Fight the black.